Hi friends, MD Vegan. Today is my day of dental juice fasting. That is once a week. And it is a, like a long, long pause, my digestion. Now, like at, in the night, you know, at night usually I sleep. But most people, I guess, do that. And that's important because the body then rests, digestion should rest, shouldn't eat too late, if the body is not forced to digest at night, then the liver can cleanse everything and so. It's a big cleansing action every night. And the brain too, they found out, has a huge amount of cleansing to do every, every single night. Mentally and physically, both. Uh, the thoughts and the feelings, and also substances, physical substances. There's science about it. It's very fascinating how cl night cleansing is important. Yeah, it's very important. Without that, we wouldn't could survive. And the fasting day is like a longer. Uh, like you knew, in the morning, I wake up, and start all over. Yeah. At night I shut the system down and then I reboot the system in the morning and get up, start all over. Every day we do that. The body is like that and the mind is like that. Fascinating. And the fasting is like that also, but also lo only longer. To me that's one whole day and the night before and the night after. So it's up to 40 hours about. It's a long time and that is considered fasting. It begins with a day. There are all kinds of fasting and so on, but medically, usually they begin with the day. Yeah, exceptions, of course. A day is the measure, and it can get harmful. If you do that, for the kidneys, for example, um, they uh, eliminate, and the fasting day, I don't know exactly, but if you, I think when you don't drink enough, kidneys can have pressure, and that can harm them. So fasting should not be done without medical um, surveillance, a medical professional or so. I mean, I've, for one day, I mean, if you really drink a lot, and so I don't think it's dangerous if you're healthy and have no medication, and so I think that's okay, I never had a problem. But even then, if you feel it is too tough because it can, cleansing can be tough, depends, you know, then I would, um, I would slow down the cleansing. I would just eat a little bit, have a smoothie or so, or a light salad or a light soup or something, to make it slow because what fasting does is first reducing calories the body eats a usually amount of calorie every day energy and on a fasting day we reduce that that's first it's an energy deficiency on a, on a fasting day so the body has to change the metabolism when the energy uh, is missing the body goes to emergency mode and burns ketones instead of sugar usually we burn sugars in the cells most of the cells and on the fasting day, it's ketones, smaller molecules. It's called ketosis. This kind of special, the body begins to cleanse and works more efficiently in the emergency mode because the body has too little calories. And that's what fasting is. It's very efficient. And also, it's um, pausing digestion. Usually on a, on a regular day, the healthy diet is whole food, plant-based. Whole food means with fiber. Yeah. Um, the peel of an apple, for example, is part of that, or uh, brown rice instead of white rice, you know, um, the shells, you know, whatever you can eat, that is whole food. And the fiber, yeah, um, when you juice, for example, an apple or a pear, uh, the fiber is removed, or a cucumber or a celery stalk, the fiber is removed, that what cannot be digested by the body, and only the nutrients remain in the juice. And the fiber is that what makes digestion work. And we take out that from the food, from the drinks. No fiber, I mean, generally speaking, you know. So no fiber, that means digestion can pause. When digestion pause, all the energy you take in goes directly in the system. Uh, on, a, on a regular day, 10% or so, I don't know exactly, but something like that goes from the food that you take in, 10% of that energy goes into the digestion process. And digestion is so important for our immune system, for our health. Yeah, 70% um, or so from the immune system is in the intestines. The bacteria there, 
they have a large amount of bacteria, as much as brain as we have. I have a bacteria in the intestine. We need them to survive, to have our immune system work. And these bacteria, they do just that with the fiber. They process the fiber, take the fiber away from the food, and then the nutrients come to the blood and the fiber uh, is eliminated. The, the, and the bacteria live on that. They need that fiber to be healthy, to make our immune system healthy. So these are very complicated things, and uh, there's a lot of research going on, you know, it's new, relative new to science, what exactly happens there with bacteria that can be so different. But we need to keep them healthy, that everybody agrees on that. And on a fasting day, it's different. We don't take in the fiber, so digestion pauses. And that gives a lot of um, energy uh, for the senses, extra energy, you know, uh, for my mental inner, inner cleansing also. Yeah. So it's like rebooting the system in the night. We do it only longer. longer. I think it's important to me. I mean, uh, people say, oh, I don't need to do that. I do it anyway at night. Fasting is uh, not necessary. I do it every at night anyway. That co that's correct. But I think it is more, um, more um, thoroughly, you know, once a week, not eating. I really like that because when I compare all the things I do with yoga and so, um, the, the plant-based diet and so, uh, fasting is... A part of that diet and it is the most efficient part, one of the most efficient parts I do. So I would highly recommend it, but I do it in a gentle way, gentle juice fast, we call it here in Tri Yoga, Tri Yoga style from Yogini Kaiji. She brings the flow into the yoga, the non-violent lifestyle into yoga. Yoga is non-violent by definition, always was. Uh, in the old scriptures that is Ahimsa, non-violence is the, the first um, nature of a yogi is Ahimsa. He doesn't, they don't do violence, they, they just live them violence. That's how they do, how they work, how they operate, you know, how they feel. Yeah. But uh, many yogis in modern days didn't think about it and just ate animals or milk or cheese or so. But Yogi Nikaiti said, how can that be? Yeah. So now yoga is more and more vegan, as it should be, non-violent. And that non-violence is also reflected in our gentle juice fast, when we uh, don't push ourselves, when we... Uh, eat something when there is when it's too strong yeah? because the gentleness uh, the compassion to ourselves is important because when the body is is feels happy so to say when energy flows freely um, then it heals itself the energy is blocked by pain or stress there is no healing more that is an emergency state again and um, so to keep calm on fasting day is very important to be glad and happy, uh, to feel great, so, and then the healing is easier. Long story short, I make a juice now uh, to enjoy, to make it really a fun day, and um, that's part of it. I like it all the time. And today I make a green juice with fruit. Greens are always a little bit bitter, mostly. And I have a cucumber here and a celery head here. Uh, um, it's relatively new to me that I make celery juices. Usually I use celery stalks just as a seasoning to make it a little bit smoky, yeah, the flavor. But And usually I make cucumber juices. Very easy to make, it's mostly water. But now I found that celery can be wonderful juice. It can be so refreshing. And I put one stalk celery, one head celery with a cucumber. And then I have apples and pears and tangerines. That's the new story today, the tangerine. Here, um, two or three cups of apples and pears. Yeah. I always need a little bit of fruit to make a vegetable juice delicious. Exceptions is a carrot, maybe. Carrot can always be delicious, if it's a good carrot, not too bitter. But, um, so that is the fruit part. And the tangerine is new today, because I made a similar juice here with oranges. And um, since recently, I've also been making some tangerine juices because I love tangerines. Tangerines, they are special, and I read about it a little bit. They are the citrus fruit with the most variety. I didn't know that. There's so many different kinds of tangerines. Wow, it's amazing, and uh, they're very special. And um, the uh, second most um, pr uh, produced after oranges, of course, they are the queen, the queen of the citrus fruit from. Um, how far spread they are over the planet, but tangerines right after them, and they have the most variety, the most different kinds of tangerines. 
Um, we're lucky now, and right now we have a nice tangerines in our shops here. It's uh, almost spring, it's almost it's still winter, spring, that's in between. And the tangerines are wonderful and not so expensive. So I got some tangerine egg, and I have a juice yeah, um, try uh, with veggie juices to make them delicious um, with, with apples, oranges, and pears. Yeah? That's a juice I found uh, in the recipe, in, a, in part in a recipe from uh, Nick Gregory, uh, an activist from the US. Uh, he was also vegan and um, always on the streets, fed his colleagues with uh, vegan food and so and smoothies, powerful smoothies. And he put apples, oranges and pears into that smoothie and uh, wow, I thought that's a nice combination. Tried that juice and was amazed. Such a wonderful balance. And the same juice now I try um, the swapping um, um, the oranges for tangerines. I take tangerines now instead of oranges. Let's, let's, let's see what happens because they have a more subtle, more, um, they have the, a more subtle flavor. It's a very uh, ex exciting flavor to me, tangerine, the, fl the fragrance. And so I like them a lot. They're smaller, of course. They really have a very strong character. But I also have a little bit of fragility. I, I like them a lot. So, and then that is the part with the fruit and the veggies. And then I have here a special pairing um, to bring out the natural flavors and to make the juice more healthier, lemon and ginger. A nice piece of ginger here, ginger root, maybe three, four inches, a lot, and a large lemon here without the peel first. Lemon and ginger, I always use uh, many recipes to enhance the other flavors. The ginger is the fire element. It makes the nutrients um, better absorbable. Uh, it's a highly antioxidant and the uh, lemon keeps it all fresh yeah? um, and so let's see and I have some peel here prepared for the lemon I don't know if I can use it because the peel is the the citrus fruit especially is the most most healthiest part of a fruit of a citrus fruit the yellow color here the lemon but it's also very intense uh, so let's try maybe I can use a little bit but um, usually with greens yeah, with cucumbers and so and celery it might easily be too much so I'd rather take not too much lemon peel let's see what I will try I'll tell you later so I will juice now everything and then I come back in a moment and I show you the juice Ta-da! that's my juice and almost two liter well, um, a head of uh, celery, that's a lot, and a cucumber, a lot of water, and then, well, two or three cups apples and pears and tangerines each, a lot of water, so two liters almost. But I need a lot of drinking, four liters I need to drink, found for myself, I don't know how about you. Uh, I'm always talking about myself, you can't give advice to others what they should do, you know, especially with fasting. Uh, as I said, Doctor might be needed because you want to fast. Make sure that you're healthy. Can do it. That you don't harm yourself. Uh, um, I feel very strong about it. I do fasting for decades now. Checked it out. Uh, so many doctors also. <laughs> but now, right now, I feel fine. I do it very gentle and slow. But to drink is so much. Drink a lot is so much. It's so important. I mean, four liter of water and tea and juices, plant milks, everything. I have a broth, a veggie broth, very nice. I make my own. So that's important. Otherwise, you know, the body has de de detox and it has to be flushed out with the liquid. Otherwise, it stays in the body. And that can do harm, you know, because the body releases a lot at that time, a special time for fasting day. So now, two liters is a great start. <laughs> Almost two liters. So let's, let's see how it tastes. I put a half lemon peel into it. So this is a peel of the lemon. I use half of it. And in between, I taste it. I thought, well, it tastes gentle. Um, so it can do some peel, okay, and it gives a little bit more zing, you know, uh, it's very nice to have a little peel, if, it's, if it works, seems to be good, let's, but let's try, I had to mix everything, to combine everything evenly, now we'll taste it finally, let's see, the color is, well, it is a green, a broken green, green juice, of course, and the fruit, the pears, the tangerine, especially, they are red or orange, breaks the green of course makes it a little bit less green so to say it's still a nice green color it's a little bit milky um, 
and the texture is runny and the pear makes it a little bit creamier. Pears are the creamy fruit, they make it juice and thicker, they're softer, different kind of fiber, they make different textures. But it's still runny, I will show you um, once I taste it. Now let's see the flavor, let's, let's taste it, and uh, that's the most important thing of course. Let's see. Mm. Very nice. Wow, good. But what strikes me first is first the, the fruity flavor, the light fruity flavor, lemony a little bit, but very light. And I expect it to be different, but it's very watery too. It's a very light juice, very high um, vibrations. Uh, not like beet juice that is very deep and very uh, very powerful. So this is rather these celery juices. Usually, that is what I like about them so much. They're really refreshing. If you have just celery stalks and two apples and a little bit of lemon, that was my first one that that worked for me. Wow, that was so refreshing. Like a morning, like in the morning, you drink that celery juice, and wow, it really wakes you up and in a nice way makes you fresh, feel fresh. This freshness, this water freshness, yeah, that is very nice. And this is characteristic for this juice too. And then they have these flavors, you know, the cucumbers make it a little bit bitter. The celery tastes a little bit salty. There is a potassium in the celery that makes it so special, among other things. Potassium is the antidote to um, um, sodium. When you have table salt, yeah, the blood uh, pressure is high. Many people have problems with that because they eat too much salt. It's one of the most important uh, danger things in our culture today. And the potassium is the antidote. It is the opposite. It has a salty flavor, does the same thing, but very gentle, and is uh, brings the blood pressure down. So that makes celery so special. Salty flavor without the salty uh, sodium. You know? That's interesting. And that flavor is also a little smoky. Uh, it has a special tone, the celery flavor. It's nice for soups and so. But it's also uh, its own juice here, refined with the cucumber that is a lot more bitter, a bitter flavor. The cucumber also light, not heavy. Just a little cutting, and the apple and the, the pear and the tangerine. Well, they make it fruity too. They're really fruity. They give a lightness here to it. This um, this um, colorful lightness in, to this juice. And the tangerine is very special. The orange would make it really different. The orange here in that instead of the tangerine would make it heavier, really more dense. But the the, the, cucar, uh, the the tangent, I guess it is, makes it so light, so 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 uh, high. Well, uh, you always I always learn new things about all these ingredients when they put it together in new ways. Here's what it looks like, and of course you have to taste for yourself before you understand what it's like. Here is a first impression what it looks like. It's a um, juice with Many ingredients, yeah. refined with the three fruit, and the tangerine, as I, as I say, makes it so light and you know flying away. So almost the orange would make it more to the ground, heavier. Also very nice, rounded. Ah, give it a try. The first time I tried this with tangerines, you know, apples, pears, and tangerines instead of apples, pears, and oranges. Very special. Let's see. I have to drink the whole of it. It takes some time because. Once you know that fiber is out, and this is mostly the fiber, it's out of the juice. Uh, when you make a smoothie, the fiber is in the juice, so to say, in the smoothie. And then you have digestion going. Uh, smoothie is like a whole meal, can be, maybe a light one. But uh, the juice, there's a lot of the fiber, there's no digestion. Uh, you can replace a meal with this, the juice. Uh, it's really not the same thing. It's, on a regular day, we drink a juice. Um, it's not considered healthy food <laughs> because you know, in the, in the way that uh, the healthiest food we have, the whole food, plant-based food, is healthy, keeps the digestion going, and so the juice does not do that. It's really different, but it's refreshing. It's a nice thing to also on a regular day to have a juice or so in between. It's very nice, uh, but it's a lot of you know, you put a lot of produce into the into the into the juice. And you get um, all this you don't get. So light. <laughs> yeah. 
And, um, well, I drink all that slowly because when the fiber is out, the nutrients go into the blood immediately without digestion. The fiber also moderates the intake of nutrients. Fiber does that too, makes it slower. That's good because otherwise the blood, when it goes all into the blood in one, in one go, the sugar, for example, spikes in the blood, much sugar then, and then the insulin is ejected into the blood, and that cause, can cause trouble. Uh, the, the organism goes um, haywalk. <laughs> so uh, that, is, that is something um, I would not do. Yeah? Uh, drinking fast because you know these are delicious they are delightful <laughs> and I'm hungry <laughs> or a little bit you know I want to drink everything at one go but that's not good that <laughs> could feel dizzy and make some problems <laughs> with my mind and my body and so so drinking slowly is important that's one thing I would really recommend these delicious juices drinking slowly and sipping it enjoying it like a whole meal like a whole meal you know <laughs> Um, but take some time and um, before you finish it and so take your time and and tomorrow when I begin to eat again I also have to take my time and not stop me from eating too much because the, the body wants to have the missing calories back yeah. the body is very strong in that if we, if the body knows what what it wants and he wants the calorie back that's his um, his stamina and it's then, and I have to be really uh, disciplined tomorrow and the day after tomorrow not to overeat. But when I can learn, I learned that meanwhile. At first, I really <laughs> made some uh, missteps there. And when you overeat after the fasting, you ruin the whole fasting. You feel bad. I feel bad then, and you know it's too heavy, and that's the lightness after fasting. That is so great. Tomorrow morning, especially the best after after the fasting day after the fasting night, that is, and getting up and doing my yoga practice or something, really so light, feels so fresh, like almost, wow, you can you have the feeling you can do anything. Also the inspiration, you know, on a fasting day when you're used to it, you don't overdo it, it can be such a support for the mind, for creativity. I don't want to miss my fasting days any, anymore. I, I'll keep going, it's so much fun. I always make these new recipes, I learn about, about these ingredients, how they play together, it's a very intense way to learn it because you feel so much on the fasting day. The senses are more alert. It's really great. I like it a lot. And uh, it really cleanses all the time. You know, further and further and further, deeper and deeper down, layers and layers and layers are in the body from our past. You know, all the past, there is something remains in the body. And you fasting to me is like uh, unveiling all that getting to the ground of everything, make it cleaner and cleaner. Well, that is really um, good for the health. It's so nice, um, but gentle, always gentle, not pushing. Some things I can't get to immediately. I have to be patient. It takes more and more time, sometimes years or decades before you get there. The really old things, the hidden things from the past. <laughs> yeah, but it is, it's, all, it's, all, it's all nice. And it gives me a new sense of time, you know, that is in thinking years and decades my life, you know. Uh, when the years are gone, <laughs> uh, people say, oh, what? That was it already? What happened? We're so fast. I don't see that way only. You can also look into the future and say, okay, I begin the fasting now, every week, for decade, for 10 years, what happened in 10 years? And then you look back after 10 years and say, ha, oh, that has changed. Well, I have so much changes here. Now, the diet can change, you know, slowly the diet changes, uh, eat less, Eat more conscious, uh, more healthy diet. Yeah. The change to veganism, for example, is the biggest change maybe. And then when that happens, things begin to change in the body too. Uh, things that always you didn't control always all of a sudden begin to slowly co come into uh, under your control. Yeah, that, that's always um, a long, long time. Uh, these things and. When you, now I was younger, I never thought about a long time, but now I'm older, my, my heart is eyes, my heart up, my, my, my conscious, my awareness goes over longer time periods. And fasting is one of these things, you know, once a week only, one day, but over 10 years, 20 years, you know, it's so fascinating too, to think about the time like that, you know. So part of my awareness now, I feel that, I really can compare what happens last year 
What kind of recipes did I make last year? The year before that? So many changes. So fascinating. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X. And there's a Facebook page called Tree Yoga Moon Fasting, told you about Yogi Nikalaji, the founder of Tree Yoga, the non-violent yoga style. Now, the flow in yoga comes from her, from Tree Yoga. Now it's everywhere with flows. <laughs> That's from her. And that Tree Yoga um, Moon Fasting a Facebook page is where I also post all my juice recipes. Not a lot of traffic there, but I post the recipes there and you can watch and go there and maybe chat. Um, there's a fasting calendar for the best fasting days. Uh, but the general rule is always, I always say once a week, many of my friends do once a month or every other week. Uh, that's all up to you. I like it every week, but see for yourself if you want. You're very welcome. And again, thanks for watching.